Hi, I'm Cassie J. LaCourse, and I'm here at Legendary Beads in Austin, Texas, and I'd like to talk to you today about making a wire wrap scroll. Scrolls come in many different shapes and sizes. This is an example of one. You really can be freeform with your scroll work. They can be used for clasps. They can be used as an element for an earring. So I'm going to use 20 gauge wire today. It's a little bit thicker wire. It's the wire that you typically also use for your earring hook. So I'm going to make a pretty small one. I'm going to cut off about an inch and a half of wire. And then I'm going to be using my chain nose and my round nose to shape them. So your first stage would be to grab the wire by its tip, and you're just going to fold it over around the edge, the tip of your wire. You can make it up on your round nose a little bit bigger if you'd like to make a larger scroll. So depending on where you are on your tool sets the size that you start with. And I'm going to start with a fairly small bend. Then I'm going to grab my chain nose and I'm going to actually grab that initial twist and I'm going to work the wire around it. So I'm just slowly bending it so that I don't get any hardcore angles because I want it to be nice and round. You can make it oblong, you can make it round. You've got control here. But in general, it's a fairly freeform style. We've got a nice spiral going. So there, got a fairly simple spiral. So the idea here is that I'm just going to start on this end and do the opposite. So one way scrolls one way, and the other scrolls the other. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my round nose, and I'm going to grab it by the tip and roll it over. So I've got my starting point, and then I'm going to grab my chain nose, and again, I'm going to cover and slowly bend and twist at the same time. And there you have a nice scroll. So the next step is to work hard in your scroll. This is a bench block, and I'm going to be using a ball peen hammer to harden the metal. Now, with a ball peen hammer, you're going to get some hammering marks in my scroll, which is what I want as a design element. If you don't want a lot of hammer marks, you can use a softer mallet like this one, which is a rawhide mallet. So I'm going to take the flat side of my ball peen because this is a small piece. If it were a larger piece of metal, you could use this guy, which is just a larger ball peen and has a larger surface area. So. I'm going to put my finger here to stabilize one half of my scroll while I hammer the other. I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to do the other side. You can see that I'm using the very flat side of my hammer, and I'm keeping it perpendicular to the bench block. So this is your final scroll, and that's the way you wire work a scroll and then work harden it with your bench block.